all right welcome back to another video by grease monkey bass fishing so today's video i'm gonna do a 360 walk around of my pelican catch 110 high drive 2. um show you guys some of the new modifications that i have or just give you guys an overall look of how my kayak setup is all of these modifications you know i do it so it makes my life a lot easier when i'm out on the waters but take note that some of these modifications may not work for your kayaks but if you're somebody like me taking something that was not made for your kayak but making it work for your kayak that is what i'm all about if you guys have any questions about any of the items that i show you guys in this video drop a comment down below or send me a message and we can talk about it all right so right at the front we have the custom gmbf nameplate 3d printed by myself and then here another 3d printed part this is my front hatch cover uh, basically what i did was cut the opening big enough so I could fit my 30 amp amped outdoors battery and yes I wanted my battery inside the hull and it was scary to cut a hole of this size but I measured twice and I cut once uh, the hatch cover is held on by three quarter by 20 bolts and I did put a waterproof uh, gasket around here uh, haven't had any water in there since I've done it down here we have the Yak Power port. Um, and this one here, here is to my Yak Power wireless phone charger and mount. So this is a one-handed system. I'm gonna give you guys a preview here. Push this in, releases your phone. And then if you put your phone back on, push it back, it will release to the size of your phone and then it will not come out. So really awesome system in a wireless charger like i said and one of the new things that i've done on the kayak is this piece right here this is a 30 by 30 or 30 millimeter by 30 millimeter uh, linear rail this has the t-slot i'm gonna take this cap off if i can show you guys been wanting to do this mod for a while so you know basically i just went and bought a piece on amazon and put it on just to give you guys a good look and yes the track bolts do fit this you have to get the 30 by 30. Do not get the 20 by 20 or the 40 by 40. Because 2020 is going to be too small. You're not going to be able to fit your track bolts. And then the 40 by 40 is going to be too big. So right here, works like any other gear track for myself. And I forgot to mention, this Yak Power wireless charger is connected as well with a T-bolt on the bottom. Um, and it slides right into the rail system here. Uh, you guys know LifeScope. This is just my LifeScope setup. Really awesome setup for light scope. This is my 943 XSV GPS map unit. Got this at a really awesome price. So I sold my 7.3 and went and bought this one. And then here, just freshly installed my RAM mount, fish finder mount. Bought it for 33 bucks after uh, using a coupon for REI. So pays to be a member. And then we have my life scope pole mount here as you guys can see this is supposed to be for a bike mount so if you're doing maintenance on a bike you would basically hang your bike here and then you can start working on it um the shaft here just for myself um i did cut the shaft down it's probably like over here so i didn't want it to get in the way while i'm pedaling and stuff um with my legs and stuff so i did cut it pretty short as well as this piece here uh, the vertical shaft here i did cut it pretty short because i wanted to keep it a low profile on the kayak if you guys have a boat or something you know you guys probably don't need to do that because you guys probably want uh, this extension bar to go out a lot further to go over the side of your boat and then right in the middle here we have the hobie 180 drive second season with this drive pelican test drive was awesome but you know i wanted that instant reverse by pulling these cables i can go into reverse just that fast on the pelican i would have to you know flip the drive uh, backwards so i can go in reverse uh, and when you're fighting in a fish and they're pulling you to like the shorelines and stuff with the branches and stuff it's not ideal you know that you're gonna take your drive out and put it into reverse just so you can go backwards so really awesome buy for the hobie 180 mirage drive and here we have another custom 3d printed this is my rudder steering handle. Uh, basically, I printed it so it sits a lot higher. And the reason for that is because my seat has the do-it-yourself seat risers. Uh, these are 
three quarters of an inch PVC, I believe, if I remember correctly. So I'm like maybe three or four inches um, a lot higher. And then it gives me some space underneath the seat um, for any tackle and stuff like that as well. On the side here, we have the Anchor Wizard. You guys all know what Anchor Wizard is. It's a really awesome system. One of the, my best and favorite mods, my Boondocks Landing Gear. This has helped my back tremendously, lifting this kayak uh, onto the truck bed, as well as, you know, coming from the lake. As you guys all do know, I do um, throw my kayak onto my truck fully fitted, just like as you guys see here. And then when I unload it, it's the same way. When I load it, it's the same way. It's always fully loaded. And then on the back side here, we have the Yak Gadget. This is the quick stop anchor pole mount. Uh, currently not using it for my anchor pole, but I do have a the bomb anchor that I put at the end here. And I've been using the, the bomb anchor for quite a bit. And then show you guys my 3D printed. This is like a beaver tail for my rudder. I felt like this rudder was a little bit too short, so I 3D printed this so I can extend it. And you know, it used to go all the way down until I had my Yak Attack Black Pack Pro. This is the crate, got this last season, and it's been really awesome. Love this crate. You know, all of these holes here, if you have like any Yak Attack um, accessories and stuff, you can just basically put it on your crate. Give you guys a good look on the inside here. Just got my PFT. Nothing special, and then I did 3D print like a handle here so I can lift it um, open and close. And like I said, with all these holes, I have my Yellow Tech camera pole mount, charges my GoPro perfectly. And then this is charging on the back side over here for my Yak Power system. Then I did install two rod holders, really awesome for rod holders, but you know, I have a milk crate with the rod holders now, and I'm not going to need those anymore. Nothing special on this side really, I just installed this today, this is my NRS Pilot Knife, love this knife, I've had this knife for over three years now, so it just goes in like this, and then I'm just going to pop it in, if I can with one hand, like that. A really awesome knife and then another 3d printed part here as you guys can see I have my paddle and bump board holder so I can take it off like this stick it back in it's not gonna go anywhere they have a pedal holder here really awesome system may look similar to some of the other manufacturers out there but really awesome design and print for myself it took a while for me to master this piece but this one here is going to stay on the kayak. And I just got done painting them black. So let's go to the other side. Let's go look at my power system. Alright, so this is the Yak Power Serious Complete System. So this basically powers five different accessories. So I'm going to turn it on. Number one, I have for my fish finder. The B or the bow is for my navigational lights. M or the middle is for my hall lights. The S or the stern is for my Yolo Tech camera pole mount. And the number two is for my Yak Power wireless phone mount and charger. So as you guys can see, we got the blue lights on. Fish finder automatically turns on as well. And then we have the Yak Power wireless phone charger and mount. And then we have the navigational lights. <laughs> really bright lights hopefully I got them on the right side and then on the back side here we have the yellow tech camera pole mount the green lights on indicates it has power really awesome system cannot believe I've not bought this system when I first started kayak fishing but I finally bit and I went and bought a system and it's a really really awesome system so if you guys have not checked out Yak Power, if you guys want to rig your kayak up with all these power accessories and stuff like that, within one panel, check out Yak Power. So let's turn all of them off. 
And then one of my last mods here is my 3D printed G Caddy. Got the big opening here for the mugs. I used to pull my cell phone down here, but probably not gonna anymore since I have this one over here. But really awesome. Keeps my drinks and stuff upright. Pelican does have some built-in cup holders and stuff, but they're not ideal. And I did take out the bungees on both sides, so. Besides that, I believe that is all of the mods on the Pelican Cash 110 High Drive 2. If you guys have any questions, like I said, leave a comment down below and leave me a message. Thanks for watching.